Hello everyone. So now let's see how we can uh, assign the IP to the layer three switch. So I will use here. We have layer three switch in the packet tracer. This one three five six zero. It will work as a real only. So what we will do here? We will learn if I want to assign the IP address to the layer three switch. How we can assign? And then we, if uh, one side we need to use this uh, layer three switch for the IP side. other side if you want to use for the vlan how we can do that one like example imagine i have one router okay imagine this is one scenario i have one router this is a isp isp this is the isp and this one is connecting here isp or anything we can imagine maybe any other router or any uh, lease line directly you have the lease line connectivity this is the ISP link you connected and you have any other branches we can consider any scenario what i want to clear here imagine you want to assign the ip to the fast ethernet 0 by 1 you need to assign ip here 200.1.1.1 okay i am taking example we can assign any ip just i am saying i need to assign some ip we can say this is isp or if you want to say you can say this is your company that is a head office router we can say anything let's take this head office router so that will be much clear so this is one router after that you will have the isp connectivity so this is one router this is a layer 3 switch you have lot of device connected here in the layer 3 switch this side lot of device is connected this one from here to here Okay, like this, and here we have this port should have this IP. This port should have this IP, and we need to configure some routing protocol so they can exchange these routes. This one, they can exchange this route, and also what we can do here, as already we know the loop back. Later we are going to discuss again, but as we already know in our CCN level, so we can say here I have the loop back zero, loop back zero. some ip i can assign so let me write that so these guys want to access some network that is our loop back zero imagine that is our internal server or if i want i can take that one also separately let me take like this i have this internal server here okay this is my internal server from here to here so let me put some ip here i will put here we can take any ip i am taking 8.8.1 here 8.8.1 here and this side we will take 8.8.8.8 we can take any ip imagine these guys want to access this server these guys want to access this server this server ip is 8.8.8 let me assign here i will go to the desktop i will go to the ip i will write here 8.8.8.8 and the subnet mask will be the default one and the gateway i will put this one this is the router interface so i will put this is my gateway so we can uh, communicate from the router to this server server to the router so this one i put here okay so just what i done simple i assign the ip this is our internal server just i am creating one small scenario actually what we need to learn in this in this lab in this lab we need to learn i have layer 3 switch one port i need to use as a router port remaining port i am using as a switch port so how we can do okay this is just basic we are brushing up our basic knowledge by integrating many different concept so we can have the uh, after some time we will have the big lab so in that one we can easily do that one okay so what i done here i assign the ip address whatever ip we plan and this is a gateway for this server i put this here so this server is okay and now i need to put this ip to this uh, router and this ip to this uh, router interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and here fast ethernet 0 by 1 i need to put this one here after that i need to run some routing protocol so this root this all are our in internal server only from here to here all are everything is internal only so these routes will come to this switch so from here these guys can access that one so for that purpose i am creating the scenario or without scenario also directly i can show you how we can assign this ip and here directly we can use that also but anyhow we are making little big 
after that we will do arp and then we will go for the mac address our main concept so let me start the basic configuration later you will understand first thing i will do for the router this router is simple configuration whatever we learn from uh, our ccna level just we need to assign the ip here assign the ip here then after that we will see the routing protocol whatever we want to configure so let me move this here and this here this here and this one here and now this is our cli of the router so this is just basic first i will go enable config t host name r1 or any head office head office router or anything we can write i change the name and then i will go interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 just i am assigning the ip address whatever we learn from basic just i need to assign ip address whatever ip we put here as per our plan i am going to assign that one so 200.1.1.1 then 255.255.255.0 then i will write no shut here so first interface work is done second interface if you see this is the fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i will write fast ethernet 0 by 1 after that i will write ip address 8.8.8.1 and subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 i will write no shut so what i done just i assign the ip address if you want i will show you also we can write do or show ip interface brief so with this one we can see here we assign the ip this one to this interface now i need to enable the what i need to enable some routing protocol so we can do ospf we are going to discuss the ospf in detail we have in our syllabus but whatever we learn from our ccna level i am going to configure that one simple ospf so i will go why i am doing ospf because i want to share this routes here and this route should come here so that's why i am running some routing protocol or we can do static route default route or any other rip anything we can configure just i want to show that one i have switch here so i am going to assign this ip to the switch interface and this ip to the router interface i am going to run the ospf so they are going to get the routes here okay this one i want to show that's why i am doing here so let's see here now where is the router this is the router so i am going to enable the ospf so we will write router ospf1 okay or router id if you want to give we can give any uh, any router id let me give 1.1.1.1 .1 even if we did not give automatically they will take the router id after that i need to enable the ospf to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i will write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then ip ospf 1 area 0 we are using area 0 later we are going to learn different area concept also when we move to the main topics we have multi area also in the ccnp and then i need to enable the ospf to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i will write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 and then same command ip ospf 1 area 0 all are in the same area so i enable the ospf here let me save the configuration so just basic configuration i done now the other thing the new thing which we are going to learn layer 3 switch so here we need to check so let's see how i can configure the layer 3 switch if you want i can change this name also we can give as a switch 1 okay just label and here we will start the configuration so what configuration we are going to do first we need to learn how we can assign the ip address to the layer 3 interface if you remember in our previous class when we are trying to apply the layer uh, layer 2 if we are trying to apply the ip to the interface in the layer 2 switch we are getting error but now it will work so i will show you this is the layer 3 i will go here in the global configuration mode i will put host name then sw1 now name i put now i need to assign the ip to this one 200.1.1.1 so i can write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 by 1 right because this one this interface 0 by 1 and now i need to put the ip address if i put directly it will not work let me show you 200.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 okay same error we are getting whatever error we are getting in the layer 2 switch so what i need to write we need to write no switch port and press enter when i put no switch port and enter this port will be 
remove from the switch port and it will be available we can assign the ip address here if you see i put the ip address it is taken i write no shirt i put the ip address and also this is a layer 3 switch we need to enable the routing here if you want to enable the routing in the layer 3 switch then we need to write ip routing okay ip routing and press ip routing so ip routing will enable here now i need to enable the ospf so how we will enable we will go here router ospf router ospf1 okay and router id if you want to give we can give let's give to there we use the one we need to remember same router id should we should not have the same router id in the network if we are having many many device all the device should have the different router id here we give 1.1.1 .1 here we are giving 2.2.2 .2. even if you did not give they automatically check the physical interface loopback interface which one is having the high ip they are going to take that one but anyhow i applied here router id then i need to put the ospf so what i will do i will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 then i will write here ip ospf 1 area 0 i am using the interface method we have different method we can use interface method we can use network command with this interface method i enable the ospf in this interface after some time they will exchange the root they will have the root okay so we can check that one let me see here we will see show ip root and still we don't have directly connected only we have and after some time we will have the ospf so let's see here what we have here what we configure here some issue we have okay maybe i done the ip schema wrong if you see here that's why we are getting here what we are getting ip address duplicate duplicate ip address i am getting just now in the switch i apply this ip let me show show ip interface brief if you see here I assign this 200.1.1.1 to this switch interface and also by mistake I apply the same IP to the router interface also. Show IP interface brief if you see same here should be 2 right so let me remove and put the correct IP. So what I will do interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and I will write here no IP address 200.1.1.1 255.255.255.255 okay i remove that one now i will put ip address and the correct ip 200.1.1.2255.255.255.0 and no shared already this port is up so let me save the configuration now let me cross check show ip interface brief if you see i have the correct ip here now the neighborship form here okay and if you see we will get the roots also let me go to the layer 3 switch you will have the roots also here so let me write here show ip root if you see we are getting this root okay we are getting this root this root 8.8.8.1 and let's see what we have any issue here show ip root we have the root here and if i ping here let me ping 8.8.8.8 .8 it will work or not because i have this server here it is working perfectly okay so what i will uh, uh, what i am saying here what i done i am saying that one i have some network in our office like some client some pc we have in our office this is a small scenario imagine this is a small organization they you have one switch layer 3 switch you need to use this one for the lan as well as the what we can say this one we need to use as a switch and also as a router so what we done this port this one port we change and we make this one as a no switch port so with that one what we done no switch port means this will uh, this will uh, not like a switch port after that we can assign the ip we assign the ip after that we enable the ospf here so we are getting this route here and this route we will get here so we are enable the ospf we can use ospf eagrp any routing protocol we can enable so what we learn here we learn here in this one what we can do we can enable the ospf we can assign the ip address how we can assign the ip address in the layer 3 switch we check this way and also example if you want to assign different ip imagine like you need to assign for some management purpose like if you want to do device management and you need to assign some different ip 
or uh, some different ip for the vlan we can do that also like in our layer 2 switch yesterday what we done same thing i can write interface vlan 1 okay i will go ip address and i can write here whatever ip we want to assign example yesterday what i assign this one also this way also we can assign if i want to use this way also i can do in the layer 3 switch this one yesterday we done in our layer 2 switch this will work for layer 2 and layer 3 both this is new thing what new thing we learn if i want to enable the if i want to assign the ip address to the particular interface i need to write no switch port after that i need to assign the ip address and then i enable the ospf and i check here in this one we are getting the root i am getting what root i am getting here if you see this is the root this let me show you this side whatever is connected to the this router other side this one is directly connected so for this one no problem but this root should not come here if we enable the static root or default root or any dynamic routing protocol then 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 only this root will appear here so that's why it is appearing because of the ospf and if you see this o is appearing because we are using the ospf this is just basic stuff still we are not in the main topic maybe today or next class we will be in the main topic just we are learning some basic stuff so later when we do the inter vlan it will be helpful to us okay so let me